So good morning. I am Laura Knight, the director of online. Uh, you will probably see emails from me or talk to me as you go through your program. Uh, so, and congratulations on for making the first step to further your education. Um, the first thing I want to go over is on the screen you'll see important contact information, the live chat, the email, the text, the phone number, and then Facebook RN connection. Those are all of the ways that you can get in touch with academics. So if you ever have any questions or concerns about anything as you go through your program, you can go on our live chat, uh, you can email us, you can text us, you can call us, um, you can go on RN Connection. Uh, that is more for positive posts and keeping each other motivated and trying to keep each other successful as you go through your program. Um, so if you do ever have concerns or have questions, please live chat us, email us, text us, or call us so that we can get your um, questions answered or any issues you have resolved right away. Uh, we do have 24-hour support Monday through Friday on phone and live chat. So if you call in at midnight or if you go on live chat at 1 in the morning, uh, you should be able to get in touch with somebody and they should be able to help you with any issues or answer any questions you have. Uh, text, uh, if you send a text after 5 o'clock, it will be answered the next day first thing in the morning, um, and then live chat, I'm sorry, and email as well. If you send in an email after five, more than likely it'll be answered the next morning as well. Okay, so those that's important information for you to write down. So if you have not wrote it down yet, I would recommend doing so. So that way you have all the, all the ways to contact us if you ever need to talk to us. And I will give you a few seconds to write that down just in case, and then we'll, I'll show you what how to navigate through your online class. All right, so I'm going to now go over what you should have received so far since you've enrolled. So the first email that you should have received looks like this or similar to this, just saying congratulations on joining Distance Learning Systems and furthering your education along with what emails you should have received after this one. So the second email you should have received is regarding Lock Lizard, which is a program you need to download to view your books. Uh, email number three has your username, password, the website to go to, your first class, programs needed to download. And then email four is academics tracking sheet that you will receive from an academic advisor showing you what courses you need to complete in order to complete the program. And so if you have not sent us any transcripts or please do so as soon as you can, that way we can make sure you are taking the courses needed to complete the program. If you have sent us your transcripts, uh, please allow a couple weeks for the academics department to go over them. Um, that way they can make sure that you are taking the correct courses as well. Uh, we do not require official transcripts, so if you have not sent us your transcripts yet, they do not have to be official. Um, you can email them, you can fax them, you can mail them, uh, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, just please get them to us as soon as you can so we can make sure you're taking the correct courses. Okay, so that's the first email. And this is the second email, which is the Lock Lizard email. And again, this program is you need to download on your computer or any mobile device that you will be using as you go through this program, um, because this program is what you need in order to view your books for your class. Uh, so you have to download it and register it on any device that you will be using. So it, it has all of the instructions on how to download it. It takes you step by step on how to download it, so make sure you follow those steps and then you should not have any problems downloading it and registering it. And one thing to notice as well when you do look at this email, the first set of instructions is for mobile devices, so if you are using a cell phone or a tablet you will follow those steps. If you are using a desktop or laptop you will follow the steps under desktops. 
a, if you are using a uh, Windows computer, you will follow the PC user. You will click on the PC user link. If you are using an Apple computer, you will click on the Mac user link to download it. Okay, so just make sure you pay attention um, to what you're clicking on and make sure you read the instructions so when you do go to download it, uh, you don't have any troubles. Okay, and if you do have any questions or need help with it, don't hesitate to contact academics and we'll make sure you get it downloaded. Okay, so that's the Lock Lizard instructions. This is the third email you should have received. Uh, what, with the username and password, the website you need to go to to log in, which is right here. And then your username and password, which is right here. Um, you will want to type it in exactly like you see it in the email. If you have troubles with your username and password, again, don't hesitate to contact academics and we'll make sure you can get logged in. Below that is the first class you are registered for. It has the name of the class, the start date, the video date, and then the time of the video. Um, all times of the videos are Eastern Standard Time, so if you live in a different time zone, please make sure you know the difference so that way you don't miss any part of your class. And please try and log in before your start date, before your class starts, so that you can make sure everything's working properly and um, that you know you can access everything okay, so that way you aren't in a panic if something did, does go wrong as you try to access your class, okay? So please try and be prepared before your first class and make sure everything's downloaded and that you can log in okay, that you can access everything okay before your first class. Okay. Then below that is the new student orientation which you are in. Uh, and then below that are the programs needed for the online class. If you are using any mobile devices, any tablets or phones to view, view your videos, you will want to download the GoToMeeting app. And here are all the links to each type of device, you have the App Store for any Apple devices, Google Play for any Android devices, and then Windows Store for a Windows laptop or a Windows phone or tablet. Okay. Below that is Adobe Reader uh, so that you can view PDF files. We do save a lot of the material in PDF form, so you do want to make sure you do download Adobe Reader. As far as the web browsers, we recommend Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. Uh, we have found that the online class does not work very well in Internet Explorer or um, Safari, so we really recommend Firefox or Google Chrome. So if you don't have either of those, I would recommend downloading them so that you don't have any issues as you go through your online classes. Uh, after that is Microsoft PowerPoint. If you do not have PowerPoint on your computer, you can download PowerPoint Viewer. It is a free download, um, and that's way so you can view the PowerPoints in your classes. That way you can open them up as the instructor is going over them or print them out and write your notes on them as the instructor goes over them. So make sure you download that as well. And then the last one would be the Lock Lizard, which you should have received that email I just showed you on how to download that and register it. All of these downloads are free, so if you find that you're having to pay for something, please contact academics immediately uh, because then you're not at the right place to download the program. So you should not have to pay for any of this, any of these downloads. Um, if you do have trouble downloading any of them or if you see you're having to pay for something, contact academics immediately so that we can make sure you download the correct programs. Okay. And then the last thing in that email is your welcome packet. And this just explains distance learning systems and explains about the company and about your program you're in. So it's a great thing to look at. Um, it tells you details about um, exam fees and other and um, cost, um, also when you should do stuff. So it's a great booklet to look at. Um, that way you don't have any surprises as you go through your program. Okay. So those are all the emails you should have received. If you did not receive any of those emails, please let me know so that we can get those sent to you. If you just if you don't if you didn't receive a couple, still let me know so that we can make sure we get all of those all of the emails to you. So now we are going to go over how to navigate through your online class. So when you log in, this is what you should see. You should see my courses, my messages, and my profile. Um, when you click on my courses, the first thing that will come up is your online course registration. 
And this will list all the courses that you need to complete in order to complete the program. And you will notice on the bottom right, it will, might, it will have multiple pages. Um, and this is so that you can register for classes online. Okay, so if you wanted to take ethics next as your course, if you, need, if you needed that course, if you wanted to take ethics, you would click on that arrow next to it, and a drop-down would come, and it would tell you you are not enrolled in any ethics course. So you would click on that tab, and it will list the ethic courses that you are able to enroll for. Okay, so you will just go through the pages and see what date works best for you. So here we have one starting January 27th. I want to enroll ahead of time so I make sure I have a seat in the class. So I'm going to choose this one and all I do is click enroll. And it will ask you, are you sure you want to enroll into the class? And you will click on yes. And it will load and it will register you for the ethics starting January 27th. Okay. You schedule classes out far in advance. So right now you can register for classes through February. Um, I would recommend scheduling your classes out as far in advance as you can, so that way you have a guaranteed spot because our classes do fill up pretty quickly. Um, and that way you can also set up your schedule and see and be prepared for um, those classes. Okay, so that is the first thing you'll see when you go to my courses, uh, the online course registration. Below that you'll see my registered courses, and these are the courses that you currently have access to. Um, the first one you'll see is the new student orientation course, and this is a good course to go into. Um, it just repeats everything that you received on your welcome email, so if you forgot something on your welcome emails, you can always go here and get it. Um, it has the welcome packets, a video from the president of the company. It has the programs to download, so if you didn't do it through email, you can come here and download the programs as well. And then it also has the mobile Moodle app, so if you want to look at your classes on your tablet or phone, you can download the mobile Moodle app and access your classes that way as well. The next class underneath that would be your class schedules class. Uh, the first thing that you'll see when you access this course is what order you, you need to take your courses in. You will need to complete your Gen Ed courses first. Um, and then as you get to the second to last Gen Ed course, or depending on how many Gen Ed courses you need, you will want to start preparing for the TEAS exam at some point uh, before you start your nursing courses, because you do have to complete the TEAS exam um, before you can enroll with Excelsior and before you can test for any of your nursing courses. Okay, so please, if you just need a few Gen Ed courses, I would recommend starting to prepare for the TEAS exam as soon as you can. If you need a few Gen Ed courses, just start preparing for it, at least to second to, on your second to last Gen Ed course. That way you are, um, that way there's nothing holding you back when you're ready to start your nursing courses. Okay, and after all that, you can start your nursing courses. Um, and then you will have to take your nursing courses in a certain order as well. You do need to complete the 100 level before you start the 200 level courses. Uh, you can take the 100 level in any order. You can take the 200 level in any order. You just have to complete the 100 level first, and then you can start the 200 level. Okay, so this is very important to pay attention to when you come to this the class schedule, so that way you don't register for the wrong course. And then you have the class schedules, which um, we will have out through February, so you will see a February schedule, January and February schedule on here today. So if you want to see what's coming up, you can just click on the schedule, and it will tell you what classes we have starting. And then when the video is, and then the time of the video. And just keep in mind that all times are Eastern Standard Time, so if you do live in a different time zone, just make sure you know the difference. Okay, so that is the class schedule course. After that one is the testing site information. And this is also an important class to look at as it tells you what type of exam you need to register for after your classes are over. Uh, we do have three types of exams that you need to make sure uh, you know which 
class, which exam you're registering for. We have Excelsior exams, DSST exams, and CLEP exams. Um, and each course is a different exam. So when you start your course, uh, you just want to make sure you know what exam you're registering for at the end. So for Excelsior exams, all of these courses right here are all Excelsior exams. So if you need any of these courses, uh, you know when that class is over that you need to register for the Excelsior exam. And the steps to do that are down here. And all Excelsior exams are taken at Pearson View sites. So you will register for your exam through Excelsior. And then once you register for your exam through Excelsior, you will then call the Pearson View site in your area and uh, schedule your exam. And you can find the closest Pearson View site uh, right here by going to the Pearson View website and it will tell you where the closest one is to you. For DSST exams, if you need any of these courses, uh, you when that class is over, you know you need to register, register for a DSST exam. And right here are the steps on how to do that. And then CLEP exam, these are all the courses that are CLEP exams. So if you need any of these courses, you know when it's over, you'll be registering for a CLEP exam. And again, below here are the sites, are the ways to register for the class. And the CLEP site is usually your local community college. So when you go to the CLEP website, you'll, to find where the closest one is to you, it's more than likely going to be a community college near you. Okay, so this is very important to pay attention to because you do not want to take the wrong exam because we prepare you. So if you need sociology, we're preparing you to pass the CLEP sociology exam. So if you register for the Excelsior sociology exam, you might not do so well because we did not prepare you for that type of exam. We prepared you for the CLEP sociology. So it's very important that you pay attention to what type of exam you're registering for and preparing for. The next one is the helpful study tips for exam. This class is a really good class to go to if you are preparing for an exam. Uh, pretty much students that have taken exams have come to this class and wrote down what has helped them pass the exam. So it's a great way to help keep you all, make sure you all are successful and help each other out and help each other be successful in this program. So if you're taking the anatomy and physiology exam, you would click on the link that says click here to add helpful study tips. And you can see ways that will help you prepare for the exam and what you need to study to help you be successful on that exam. Okay, and we have all of the Excelsior courses in one tab, and then we have all of the CLEP exams in one tab, and then all of the DSST exams in one tab. Okay, so when you're preparing for an exam, this is a great class to go to to see what, what helped other students be successful on their exams. And then the next two you will see are the general ed supplements and the nursing supplements. They are laid out the exact same, so I'm just going to show you the general ed supplements class. Uh, this has just been information that academics has gathered throughout the years. Just extra resources for you to look at as you're preparing for your exams. Um, it's not required to go in here, but it does help some students out just to reinforce the information that they learned in the class. So it's a great way to, if you just need that extra material to look at, the supplements classes are a great course to go to. Okay, so those are all the complimentary courses that we give you access to when you first enroll. I would recommend going through all of them, all of them, just checking them out, getting used to how the online works. Um, that way when your class starts, you're prepared. Now, if your class does not start for a while, you will not have access to it until the Friday before it starts. So if your class starts next week, you will get access to it this Friday by 5 p.m. If your class starts this week, you should already have access to it, and I would recommend going in there and starting, get, make sure you can access your tutorial, make sure you can view everything in the online class, and prepare for the video. So when that video does start, um, there's no panic because you can't access something, okay? So when you do get access to your class, it will be the last course underneath my registered courses. 
And this is what the classes look like. They are all laid out pretty much the same. So when you go to your next class, when you start your next class, you don't have to learn a new anything new. It's all laid out the same. So everything's always in the same spot when you start a new class. So the first thing you'll see is the introduction. And that's usually welcome to the class, has the syllabus of the class, your instructor's information, just important information for you to know as you get started in your class. Another important thing is this is where your book is going to be. So right here when you see click here to access your tutorial, that is your book for the class. That is what you need to download Block Lizard for on your computer or tablet or phone. So this is your main study guide. This is your textbook for the class. So you need to make sure that you can access it. So when you click on the link, uh, your tutorial should come up. Okay, now if you get this error, which some of you might, uh, every now and then we have students get this error, and it's asking you to close your screen capture application. This is a very easy fix. So all you do is click Control Alt Delete on your keyboard. And then you want to open up your task manager. So when your task manager opens up, you'll want to click on the processes tab. And you're going to look for the OneNote M.exe. And there it is right there. Once you find it, you will click on it. And once it's highlighted, you're going to click End Process, and then you will confirm that you want to end the process. Okay. And once you end the process, you will click OK, and then your tutorial should show up. And you should only have to do that once. It shouldn't be an every time thing when you try to access your tutorial. Uh, once you fix it one time, you should not have any issues after that. So this is what your tutorials look like. You'll have your cover page. And on the cover page, it tells you this is preparation for a CLEP or Excelsior or DSST exam. So you know right when you open up your tutorial what type of exam you are preparing for. So it's very important to pay attention to. And then also the next page as well is telling you what type of exam you are preparing for. So it says read me this is preparation material for a CLEP exam. So if you need sociology, you know at the end of your class you are going to register for a CLEP exam. And it also has the steps on how to do that on this page as well. And then you can just scroll through the pages. You can print your tutorials out at home if you want. Um, you can only open them up on devices that have Lock Lizard on them, that you have downloaded the Lock Lizard on. If we do sell the hard copies of the tutorials as well. So if you want a hard copy of the tutorial, uh, we do sell those. And they differ in prices depending on what tutorial you want. Okay. So again, this is your book for the class. This is your textbook for the class. So it's very important that you do open it up and that you do, do your reading assignments. And again, that can be found right here under Tutorial in the Introduction tab. So when you access Week 1, one of the first things you'll see is the label on when your live video lecture will be. And again, all times are Eastern Standard Time. If you cannot view your live video, that is completely okay. The recordings will be placed uh, either that same day or the next morning, depending on when the live video took place. If your live video is in the mornings from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., the recording will be available that, same, that evening. If your live videos are in the afternoon from 1 to 5 or from 5 to 9, then your recordings will be available the next morning. Okay, so don't feel like you have to join the live videos. Um, it's okay to view the recordings. You're not going to miss anything. It's the same exact uh, video that happened during the live. Okay, so if you do have any questions, you can always email your instructor, and they will get back with you within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, the links to view the videos are always going to be underneath this label. So if you're going into a live video, this link will say click here to view live video. If you're going into a recorded video, it will say click here to view week one recorded video or week two recorded video, whatever week you are in. Below that are the PowerPoints that the instructor will be going over in class. Again, you can open those up, print them out, write your notes on them. Great study source um, for your classes. So just make sure you do look at those. Um, and again, if you you need PowerPoint Viewer in order, or in order to open those up if you do not have PowerPoint on your computer. 
You'll also have reading assignments in each week, and those reading assignments are, that's what you'll use your tutorial for. So when you open up your tutorial, you know that you need to read units one and two to be prepared for that week. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to those. And then you just have extra resources to look at to help you retain the information and help you understand the information. So make sure you look at those as well. Uh, pretty much everything we put into the class uh, is important for you to look at because that's what we have found helps students pass the exam. So make sure you open everything up, make sure you read everything, look at everything, because all of it is very important so that you are successful. We also have week weekly quizzes uh, so that you can see how well you are getting the information. We ask students to get a 90 or above on their quizzes um, because that tells us that you are really retaining the information and you are understanding the information. If you get below a 90, reach out to your instructor and just kind of look at the areas you're not doing so well in and ask your instructor questions about those areas, um, see what they can do to help you be successful in those areas. Also, you feel free to reach out to academics as well if you, and we'll be, able, we'll be happy to help you as well. Okay, so make sure you're very, um, make sure you stay in communication, that you communicate a lot to your instructor and to academics if you are having troubles as you go through your classes because we want you to be successful. Um, we want to make sure that you pass your exams and that you understand the information. So if you're having any trouble at all in your classes, understanding uh, material or just how to, what to do, reach out to your instructor in academics. Okay, that is what we are here for. You also have the weekly forums so that you can go into this forum. If you have any questions or problems or concerns regarding that specific week, you can go into the forum, add a new discussion topic, type your message to the instructor, and the students and the instructor can see your message in that class. So if you don't mind everybody seeing your question or um, your comments, you can put it in the forum. If you want to privately talk with your instructor, then you can email your instructor privately. So all of the weeks are laid out similar to this. Um, you'll always have the video link will be the very first thing you see. PowerPoints will be underneath that, your reading assignments, and so on. Okay. Um, as you get to your last week of the class, you do have a 21-day grace period from the last day of the video. Um, so from that last video, you have 21 days after that to prepare and review everything in your class. Uh, we do recommend that you don't wait longer than three weeks to take your exam. If you do need to wait longer than that, please let us know so that we can place you in what we call our open classes. And what those classes are is that they are review classes so that you have the videos, you have the quizzes, you have all the material needed to prepare for the exam or in those open classes. Okay, so let us know if you need longer than that 21-day grace period um, so that we can put you in the open class so that you can continue to prepare for the exam. Okay, after that 21-day grace period of your class, the class will be deleted. So please let us know if you still need access to the material before that day. Um, you also have a final exam in your last week of class, which will cover everything you learned in the class. If you get a, again, an 85 or 90 on that exam, then you're prepared to take the actual exam. That tells us that you retain the information, you understand the information well enough to be able to go take the actual exam. If you get below those scores, again, look at the areas you're not doing so well in, review those areas, reach out to your instructor, reach out to academics, uh, so that we can help you and make sure you are successful. Right. We also have a survey at the end of every class um, to get your input. If there's anything else, we, if there's anything we can do better, if you had a great experience, we'd love to hear that too. Um, we also love to hear if there's anything we can do better. Um, so please make sure you fill out those surveys as well so that um, we can make sure you have a great experience. Okay, so those are the courses. That's how they're laid out. Um, just make sure you do everything in the courses that we have um, because that will, make, that will ensure that you are successful on your exams. Another thing I want to show you is when you do go take an exam, Please let us know how you do, whether you pass, whether you fail. Uh, we like to hear how you do. That way we can keep track of how you're doing 
and keep track of what courses you need to take next and so on. Um, and if you didn't fail, please let us know so that we can talk with you and go over study strategies with you and, and kind of see what will help you be successful the next time. Um, but if you are successful on an exam and you let us know, you will receive a certificate in the mail that looks like this. Um, and we do send certificates out for every class that you pass, so for every exam that you pass. So let us know how you do so that we can send you those certificates. All right. Okay. So that is the My Courses block. Again, that, course, that block takes you to register for courses online and the courses that you currently have access to. The next block is My Messages. Uh, this block is very important to look at as it does show you messages, messages sent from your instructor to you or sent from any students to you. Um, even academics sometimes will send messages through Moodle, through this online system. Um, so it's a great place to go to, to, make, to so that you aren't missing anything and uh, that you're aware of anything going on. So when you, get mes when you get messages, you'll see the person's name and it will tell you I have one message. Um, and you should have already received a welcome email from your instructor if you started class already. Um, and this is where you would go to see that welcome message. Okay. And if you do have any questions, if you want to reply to that message, you can go down to the very bottom, click on the message box, type whatever comment you want to put in there, and click send message. And that person that sent you the message will get your message as well. Okay, so just make sure you, click, you check your messages often, so that way you don't miss anything. My profile, um, this just has information about your profile, um, has the courses that you're currently in, uh, has that, have access to, um, shows you what forms you posted to, um, and also your activity. So it's just a, something good to look at if you ever want to confirm what courses you have access to or look at your activity. So those are those three blocks. Um, those are the most important blocks we feel um, that you need for the online class. So, again, please make sure you definitely go into my courses and my messages. Um, also, up at the top, you'll see my courses, and again, these are the courses that you are currently that you currently have access to. So, you can also access the courses by going up here as well to my courses and clicking on them. And then you also have a drop down next to your name. And that can take you to your profile, your grades, and your messages, and then your preferences for your profile as well. Okay. And as you scroll down on this page underneath the three blocks, you'll see need help. And again, this has the information that you need to contact us, has our email, our phone. If you click here, it will take you to our live chat. And it also has our hours as well. All right, so that is how you navigate through the online class. Uh, one more thing I do want to go over is the order in which courses need to be taken, just because it is very important, and I don't want you to try and move forward and something hold you back. So as you go through your program, make sure that you do complete your gen ed courses first. Um, when you get to your second to last gen ed, start preparing for the TEAS exam, take your TEAS exam, and then start the enrollment process with Excelsior. And then once you are enrolled with Excelsior, you can start your nursing courses and you can take your nursing exams. Okay, so make sure you do those in those steps so that way when you start your nursing courses, you, there's nothing holding you back from taking the exams. Okay, so that's very important to know. Um, that is it for the orientation. If you do have any questions, I will be logged in for a little bit longer. Um, if you have any questions afterwards, later on today, if you think of something, don't hesitate to contact academics. Um, and again, please make sure that you log into your online class before your class starts. Make sure you have everything downloaded. Make sure you can access everything so when your class does start, um, you don't have any troubles. Okay. Um, and again, congratulations on furthering your education. We are excited to be on this journey with you. So do not hesitate to contact us for anything. We want to make sure you are successful. Um, and so just remember, we are here to help. All right, so that is it. Um, thank you all for joining and look forward to seeing you guys progress through your program. Thank you.